in this video, we're going to give SEO space a try. Um, it's really easy to install the plugin. Um, it's a Chrome extension. And once you've installed it, uh, then you end up on this dashboard here and you can add a scan of, uh, as many websites as you want. Uh, but you're limited to the number of scans available. So, um, I put in uh, my site here, squarespacethemes.com. And in order to get some of this other data here, I would have to upgrade to the DIY or agency plan, uh, which I haven't taken that step yet. But before you, before you even get there, there's a few things that you can do. Um, one, uh, connect to your site via uh, Google Search Console, and they'll give you some recommended pages to scan. So I haven't even scanned all these pages yet, but it's a good way to prioritize your scans used. So your first 10 scans, you can use them on the, uh, the first 10 recommended pages here. And just by doing a quick, quick glance, um, you know, and knowing what my, uh, my SEO analytics look like, these are probably a good top 10 for me as well right here. So anyway, um, you can scan the, the page that you're currently on, um, run a basic scan, and uh, it will give you give you a rating, but uh, what's important is the breakdown of these basic suggestions. And so a few, few key things, and uh, it looks like Okay, it's still running, so let me wait until it's finished here. But while the, while this is scanning, um, a few key things of like why you would want to just use this like immediately, right, on whatever site you're working on now or future sites or past sites, um, Squarespace sites specifically, because that's what this plugin is for. Um, things like broken links, you know, they're a good chunk of uh, SEO ongoing SEO is just like maintenance, you know, um, keeping things fresh. Um, and, and so for example, I know that they're broken links here. However, sometimes it's a little pain to open up, a another tool or, or whatever, but here with SEO space, I can quickly take a look. And when you click on them here, it, it takes you to whatever broken link on the page. So I really like that that feature. Um, here we've got some links that are not set to open in a new tab. Um, now it might appear like that in my case, but I've got some code behind the scenes that makes sure that uh, certain links do open in a new tab. Um, images. So this is you know useful as well. Uh, below listed images are greater than 250 kilobytes. So you know, all of these images here, I can then go in and optimize and re-upload them. Um, let's see the other. And so for each one of these, like, drop-down tabs gives you everything. And then you can go over and you can see, okay, I've got alt tags on every image. So got to check there. And then meta description. So... Your meta description is 127 characters long. Make it between 150 and 160. Um, it would be good to see what the meta description was right here. Um, and then maybe a, a recommendation based off of that. But I'm sure that's on the roadmap. Um, meta description exists. Yes, it does exist. And then I've got to check for these other points here. Um, so definitely uh definitely useful because for example uh some of these broken links you know these are uh these are links that are monetized so premium suggestions so once i upgrade i will uh do another video where i'll come back and we'll take a look at the keyword volume and the the suggested keywords and stuff um based on that but yeah uh, so far i'm i'm really loving this plugin as far as doing a quick read on, on any Squarespace uh, page. Um, so like I can drill down and go to, you know, any blog and run the scan and take a look at the suggestions. 
So look, we got a lot of red here. A lot of links that are uh, apparently don't work right now. So let's take a look real quick. Yep, 404. So um, when when a tool like this uh, gives you stuff to go fix, then that is a good thing. So we're going to go fix some things, upgrade, and do another video of the uh, the premium side of things, showing you what that's like. So if you haven't tried out and installed SEO Space yet, and you have a Squarespace site, let this be your uh, your introduction to say, yes, let me try this out because uh, these things, you know, they uh, they make the, the user experience better, which is really what's important at the end of the day.